Hello, I'm Josh Carr, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to put notes inside of formulas. Um, this is a really important subject and something, frankly, a lot of people don't know about. It's kind of a cool hack. It's something I use in a lot of my models, and I think you'll find it to be useful. Also, if you enjoy this sort of content, I do teach classes on Excel for real estate analysis every few weeks. Uh, you can attend in person in New York City or over Zoom, depending on your preference. If you'd like to read more about my classes or sign up, check out my website at www.kahrrealestate.com. Again, that is www.kahrrealestate.com. Great. So here's the issue. Uh, most people, if they have a model and they want to put notes in it, do it one of two ways, both of which, frankly, kind of suck. The first option is you could just float over something and build a note. And of course, this is all under the review tab. You can do a note, like right here, there's a note. And you could write a note, and you could write, this is a note, or something. And, you know, you can go to the next note, you can delete it, you can do stuff to it. Um, I don't like notes, because they only appear if you float over them, and then when you float away, it's gone. So, like, if you click in, it's not there until you float over it, and that's kind of irritating. The other way to do it is with comments. With comments, you can make a comment, and then when you float over it, it does a pop-up with a comment on it. And I mean, that works. And I guess the idea is I could put in a comment, and then you could put in a comment on my comment, and then I could edit the comment, and then I could also press show comments, and there'd be a section of all the comments on the side. And I guess then we could just have like a back and forth conversation inside of my Excel file about what to do to the model. Um, I don't like this. I mean, it works, I guess, but I'm not really looking to have a conversation with people going back and forth. Um, also, it only appears if you float over the thing. So what do we do if we have a complex model, a complex formula, and we want to put a note inside of a formula, like in the formula itself? Well, here's what you can do. There is a function called the n function. And if I go to the n function, most people don't use this, but you can use it for various things. Um, most people look at this and you'd be like, well, what's the point? Like you can convert the word true to one or a non-number value to a number or dates to serial numbers. This thing can be used in all kinds of curious ways. But what we're going to use it for today is that we'll turn anything to zero that isn't one of those things. In other words, Let's say you have a formula like 45 plus 56 is 101. You can put inside of an n function a quote if you want to just tell people what you're doing, right? So if you have something like, I don't know, something like, uh, you know, you're borrowing $100,000 and you have a rate of 6% and the number of periods is 25 years and you want to do a payment function, and you want to be like, hey, that's my rate, that's my number of periods, that's the amount of money I'm borrowing, close parentheses, you know, that would give you like a monthly mortgage payment. But you could also go inside of here and be like, and sometimes we need to pull this from somewhere else, and it will still work. In other words, you can put it inside of functions, like as you can see here. You can put it inside of all kinds of other things. If you have a complex multi-line formula and you want to make notes on what each section of the line does, you can use an end function to comment your actual formula. And then if you want to have some fun with it, you could even be like, well, let me use like Alt-Enter to break this up into different lines. And then you could take things, break them into different lines, put notes in there. I think it should become apparent that if you had a multi-line formula with lots of if statements, lots of conditionals, lots of complexity, between using Alt-Enter to break things up into lines and end functions to note what the model is doing, at least you can figure things out uh, or explain to other people what's going on. Uh, and when someone sends me a really fat model and I want to make notes or keep track of what's going on, 
this is a tool I use. And that is the end function. Again, I'm sure you could use it for other stuff, but I just use it to write notes to myself or to others. Cool. That's a bit of a hack. And, uh, you know, I like that more than notes and comments because, again, it appears when you're in the formula, which is kind of the whole point of giving someone a note. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you'd like to sh see other tips, tricks, oddities, things that Excel can do, drop me a line, uh, leave a comment. Uh, you get the idea. And until I see you again, keep building better models.